There were recently discovered skylights on the lunar surface. And what a skylight basically is, it's a ceiling collapse of a lava tube. So uh, there's a lava tube running close to the surface, the ceiling collapses, which causes some, boulder, um, some boulders, huge rocks to be right underneath it. And the skylight uh, gives us access to the lava tubes. And the, under, the underground world of uh, the moon, Mars, other planets have never really been explored before because it's so difficult to access these caves, lava tubes, and caverns. So this is our video. As you can see, um, the, the camera pans around the, the skylight, goes into it, you can see the rocks there, and then looks off into the lava tube. This is another video of our robot. It's just traveling on all six wheels on a flat terrain. Wheels are moving a little bit fast, but um, you can get the idea of how it actually uh, travels on the surface. So as you can see from here, uh, it's about three meters long, um, about a little over a meter wide. Each, you can't see it here, but each wheel is about 0.8 meters in diameter. It'll have six in total. And each segment will be about um, 0.8 meters in uh, length, putting the whole total at about oh, a little over three meters. So one of the interesting things about our robot are the wheels. Um, passing by a, a huge rock uh, with, a, with conventional wheel is a little difficult. You can't really surpass a rock that's about the same height as the wheel. When you add paddles to it, um, it helps it overcome, which is just a little bit more torque, it helps it overcome the, the boulder field. One of the um, good things about our design is that it has wheels that can surpass the uh, boulder field, but it can also use the wheels to travel in, into the lava tube. Uh, one other thing, as you're, tethering, uh, as you're uh, lowering yourself into the lava tube, you have a tendency because you're tethered to spin. And since you're gonna spin, you can't, tell how you're going to land, you can't really orient yourself. So our robot can travel um, right side up as well as upside down. Um, it also comes with uh, linkages in between. So it starts off as three segments. Once it lowers in, um, the end segment acts, acts as a base, basically, um, and a charging station. The other two segments separate and start exploring the uh, lava tube. And once they reach their maximum range, they come back and charge again. And while they're um, traveling and exploring, they're constantly mapping and sending data back to the end segment, which in turn sends the um, data back up to the lander to which it is tethered. So we're researching a way to get inside. Um, one of the topics of interest is uh, to see what, what kind of um, things these environment hold, such as uh, uh, just like uh, lava tubes on Earth, they, also, they can also house uh, different uh, organisms that can't really survive anywhere else. Um, they can also hold uh, key information to telling us how the moon was formed, even the whole solar system. 